Greetings Masandawana, greetings football lovers. We are back with another installment of the Yellow Corner and this time we are shifting our focus to the bread and butter of the DSTV Premiership as we host the, the Natal Hit Boys, uh, Richards Bay yeah. in, uh, uh, in game week 19 of the DSTV Premiership at Loftus First Feld on Saturday, uh, half past seven. How was it? Tuesday. You didn't, didn't say Tuesday? Yeah, you said Saturday. Yeah. Okay. I, it is again leg, you know? It in leg, you Friday. It doesn't mean you know, so it's a day that I'm more bad. Yeah, on Tuesday night, man. You okay? Ah, I'm not as good, I'm not doing it. Ah, I'm okay, man. I guess, I guess, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what to I don't even know just to discuss the events uh, that happened in 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 quarterfinals. Uh, in the quarterfinals. We talk about it when we preview uh, the second leg, man. Yeah, yeah. Raps, it's just it's that time of the season, man. Uh, the, the the business end of the season. Do you enjoy football at this time of the season? <laughs> I think in the PSL, yes, I do because of, I know that. Usually, the gap between us and the team that is fighting for the second spot, it is very uh, huge. But if uh, the gap was uh, narrow, I think it was going to be, uh, 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 the league was going to be more challenging than uh, now at this moment. Because of by the points that we have, we can see that we have already won the league. We are just uh, fighting to wrap it up and focus on other uh, competition. But... Yes, on the league, on this time, I do enjoy uh, watching football, but on the KF Champions League, it's another story, man. Yeah, no, I'm with you, man. Eh? Uh, PSL-wise, I enjoy it because it's that easy, yeah, if we're being no, honest. No. Internationally, I don't. The, uh, this time of the season brings with a lot of anxiety. Man. Yeah. Like in the KF Champions League, I don't even enjoy the games, you know. I need to watch it. Uh, I too for me to enjoy it. I just want the game to start, someone to score, and the game to end. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's it, man. Hey, yeah. No rush or no problem to it. The pillow come out of the man. Hey. Like I said, we hosting uh, 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 Richards Bay, man. What happens uh, uh, to Richards Bay between the start of last season uh, to the midway to midway through of uh, 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 last season? Because they started. Really, really well, man. They were up there last, last season, man, in the first uh, half of the season, you know. Uh, it looked like they would even get a top eight spot, but come second half, things uh, turned, man, for them. Man. And I think, I think they got uh, uh, found out, man. I think teams uh, saw what they, uh, they were all about, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the, the, the playing against them became easier uh, in a way. And um, that uh, promotion, uh, early season enthusiasm, mm -hmm. I always struggle with that word, mm -hmm. enthusiasm, uh, uh, after six months, it went away, you yeah. know, like Sebatwa Yeti, Kurala PSL. Another thing is, I think they have enough PSL quality. Uh, there are a few players in their squad that I think are good enough to play even for certain teams in the PSL. But Bona is a team, I do not think they have enough quality in the PSL. Yes, yes. Yeah, and I think when they arrived last season uh, in the early stages, I think they, they were doing very well. And at some stage, I think they were in the top three or top mm. four. They were, they were doing mm. very well, but they, they, they failed to, to keep that uh, consistency mm. uh, throughout the season. And... I think because of they were new to the league, teams were 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 were, were, were struggling to find out how they play. But mm. in the second leg of the league, I think everyone found out how to approach the games against uh, Richards Bay. And everyone, I think, when you arrive to the PSL, there's that excitement. Do you remember the soil was in their first season? They were doing very well when mm. they came back to the PSL. But uh, in the second round or in the following season. They started to, to, to struggle. So I think the Richards Bay are not problem. I think uh, the following season they, they, they struggle and also they, they, their squad changes a lot. Yeah. Like they bring a lot of players, they yes. release a lot of a lot of players as well. So it will be difficult for team to, to perform 
for for a lot number of games because of this those chopping and changing of the team and technical team here and there man. you know you mentioned a great point when i was uh, 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 watching the games of honor you know uh, trying to study them when i'm watching the game so treasures no place for them when we were watching yesterday when we were watching their game against ours uh, never die was blamed for them so and they changed their lineup way too much man way way too much man we actually recording this on sunday uh, morning um, uh, so at the time of recording this uh, they, they they are 15th of on their lock man uh, uh kind of came came to space i yet to play, yet to play. Yeah. so spent came to space is playing as well as later on in the day so uh, uh, i think it, things will change as uh, 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 the day uh, progresses man they are currently 15 on the lock they've played 21 games they've only won three games they've drawn uh five lost 13 and they currently sit on 14 points they have scored uh, 16 goals conceding 30 goals They've only kept four clean sheets uh, in 21 uh, 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 games. So, uh, like I said at the time of uh, recording this, there are uh, two points ahead of uh, Cape Town yeah. uh, 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 Spurs. Man. Cape Town Spurs who have a game in, in hand. Man. Between them and uh, 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 Solos, uh, which one of the two do you think uh, is going uh, 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 straight down and the other, not Solos, man, and Cape Town Spurs, uh, which one will go to the playoffs? Because now I think, or I, I think these guys are going straight down. I think Middendorp has turned the corner. Yes, we yeah. have said a lot of things in the past, Can Middendorp, about teams hiring him, and you know, but I think he's turned the corner, man. I think Spurs. Uh, they've done really, really well since Medindop arrived and since the turn of uh, 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 the year. I mean, they've uh, won, they're starting to win games. they got a good draw away at, at, at Orlando Pirates, you know. So I think they are get, get, gaining uh, form at the right time. Yeah. Uh, spares yeah. Them. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah, definitely. I think they've turned the corner at the right moment because of the uh, second half of the league. That way, it gets tougher. And uh, for for Cape Town Spurs, I think they are doing very well so far. As for Richards Bay, man, I, I don't see them uh, being on the league uh, next season. I think they are going down, man. And I, I look at their fixtures; they are still left with some top teams. So it will be tough for them uh, to, to 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 fight and get a positive point. And you just come from a loss here derby, and you are going to play Sun now. So I think. It's going to be tough for them, and remember, the coach is still new. And at this point, if you're a coach, you don't know whether you play for results or you, you you try build the philosophy around the team. Because of if you build the philosophy, it will take time to get the results. But then, if you prepare for the results only, sometimes it, it is tough as well. So I think, hey. Uh, the small civil that I think is caught in between, man. Yeah, no. Uh, it said uh, maybe come June, you'd have to shift his focus to his gospel career. Skala. <laughs> 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 games remaining uh, in the DSTV Premiership who's been uh, the best player you have found downs for in, uh, in the league uh, this season because for now I think Devza has been really really instrumental and very influential in the Sundowns team and I wouldn't be surprised if Devza uh, retains uh, 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 the, the award uh, this season you know he's been really really he, he's a vital cog of this uh, Man in the Sundowns uh, machine, man. And him being the vice captain, man, you can see how it, uh, it has uh, boosted Yana. He's, he's always been a confident guy, but he has maybe taken it, uh, his confidence uh, up a notch. Man. Another player that I think 
has a good chance of winning playoff the season is Hornway, man. He's yeah. kept a ridiculous number of uh, the clean sheets, you know. And people can say, uh, but he has a, 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 a great defense in front of him. He's a, he plays a huge role in them being so good. Yeah. Because Rodman is very, vocal. very vocal, man. He's very, very vocal, and he's the last person come grounding a corner of one game. So he he can tell uh, players where to position themselves and uh, uh, those type of things. Then eh? another thing about Rodman, Sundowns is the only team in the PSL for me that plays with eleven infield players. I take Rodman as one of our infield uh, players. He's very crucial in our build up, man, as well as our our attack because. Mm-hmm. One when can a kick off, not a kick off, when we build up, ne, he can uh, find more to a long ball. Long ball, he can play a long ball and find a player. He can uh, break the lines from yeah. that deep, you know, and get us uh, into advanced areas very quickly. So I wouldn't really be surprised uh, if one when takes it as well. Right? I think for game week one up until uh, game week uh, 20 for us, I think it is between um, Gwena and Hornwen. But recently, in the last five or seven games, I think the Bulls has played very well, man. I think he has done very well. Uh, at some stage, I guess, Ronald Parity played as a right centre back. He did quite well. So I think uh, from game week one up until now, I think Ronwen and uh, Debs have done very well. But recently for, uh, for for the past about five or six games i think the uh done quite well as well yeah, yeah no man Musa has been exceptional yeah. I mean, moscow has been really really good and like i said in the last preview when i didn't have it have him in, in in our lineup i knew what i was being unfair yeah. you know like i he's really really uh, uh, been good man let's uh talk about what what we can expect from this game what do you what do you think we should expect from both and um, when the Sundowns and Richards Bay on uh, Tuesday? I think for, for Richards Bay, I think they will sit uh, uh, quite deep. I think they will let Sundowns have the ball and have everyone uh, uh, behind the ball and uh, ensure that they protect their uh, goal post very well. And one thing I think they want to do in this game, I think they want to keep a good shape because of the first goal they considered against uh, uh, Aros, a left back pressed a little bit higher alone and there was a space uh, when he was absent and the, the first goal from Aros came from his position because he was way up and the cross was played uh, from uh, his his position and I think in this game he want to keep the same line as everyone in uh, in defense and as well I think they, 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 they need to be able to the defense they need to be able to watch the ball and the, the, the man at the same time because of, most of the time they are caught ball watching man they, their eyes are always on the ball and they don't ensure that they keep an eye on the person next to them or who's going to make a run uh, into the box. And in the middle field, I think they need to be solid, man. They need to be rigid on the middle field. I think they don't cut, they don't cut attacks from the opponents. The, the opponents just get passed through them so easily, man, with advancing with the ball, with the combination play. So I think in the middle field, uh, Richard B, if they, they want to get a draw or something positive out of this game. The middle field need to be solid. The middle field need to win the balls and ensure that they have the, the position. And also I think uh, because of against Sandals, they won't great they won't create a lot number of chance. I believe from set pieces that's where maybe they would get uh, something because of breaking sandals and scoring from those kind of moments or situations. It will be tough for them but from corners and uh, uh, set piece, I believe that's where you can get uh, uh, most of their uh, good chances. And recently, Tundon against uh, Aros, he played as a number nine, yeah, yeah. and he managed to to, 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 to score. And also uh, in the last, in the previous game against Super Sport in the Net Bank Cup, he played as a number nine and he won a penalty. So I think from Tundon, I think the way he is, like his style of play, and also his. Uh, 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 Boy, I think it's suitable to play number nine because if he can hold up play and also he's tall but he has that sprint where he can make runs and he's good on the ball as well. So I think playing him too wide, he is far from the goals and he needs to do a lot in order to create chances and to score. But if 
this the number nine i think they can get uh, something from that and i, I think recently uh, rich has been they haven't used the place of silent bars very well like they did uh, when they arrived in the first season i think this season when we are not seeing much of silent bars I, I i think maybe the supply or how the opponent uh, 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 structure their teams when they have to play a uh, Richard B. But I think for 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 Sandals, I think being mobile up front will help us to break the defensive shape of a uh, uh, Richard B. Because I spoke about how the left back uh, pushed up high and the space was left on his position. So I think we need to be mobile in order to ensure that we move them out of their positions and we use those spaces uh, to capitalize. And also, we spoke about their fullbacks uh, uh, from uh, ball watching. I believe in some instances we need to deliver those unexpected crosses. As much as Sandals is a team that doesn't play crosses, but I think for the sake of putting them under pressure and have them struggling to defend uh, uh, crosses, I believe we need to suppress them and attack the wave and bring in those uh, uh, crosses as well. And I think in this game, it is important for our number eight to connect with the offensive players. I think against uh, 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 against Younger, we, the, the connection was not that strong between our number eight and our offensive. It was non-existent. Our, our, our offensive players. So in this game, we need them to connect through combination play and through uh, the movement and the chemistry that we know our number eight and our number ten they have for, 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 for each other. And also we need to be able to progress with the ball because of I believe this team will sit back. So we need to advance with the ball and get into good areas where we know that we might uh, uh, punish them. Yeah, no, we will them come to. Uh, from my side, man, uh, I share most of uh, your sentiments. Man. From my side, I think I honestly believe that like, these guys are coming to Pretoria not to get embarrassed. Uh, they try. They come to. They would take a one nil defeat. I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, the reason they don't want to get embarrassed is because of uh, the, 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 the apologies for the dog uh, barking, guys. Uh, we, yeah, we're shooting from a different place today. Um, well, you have lost my train of thought now. You're talking about them coming. Oh to yeah, yeah. To try not to get them back. Uh, yeah, because uh, if they get four or five, it proper messes up. They are already yeah. messed up a uh, goal difference, and this might come to play uh, at the end of the season. You know, when it comes to a uh, relegation. Yeah. You know? So I think they 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 will just uh, try not get embarrassed. Now, I think sometimes we need uh, uh, to 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 rotate. You know, give certain players a chance. You know. Yeah. I think a lot of guys that uh, would have watched the game and uh, guys who didn't play would have watched Damian yeah, yeah, and thought, I if I play well against uh, uh, Richards Bay, yeah. I might spend the chance uh, going into the, yeah. the, 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 the second leg. Man. This team is terribly poor at both ends. They can't defend, they can't you know, uh, 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 attack. They, they, they're very blunt in attack. Man. If you watch each and every preview that you've done at this team, uh, when you play this team, the one thing that I always say is that they have similar strikers. All the strikers that when they work hard, and that's it. They do not. They, they do not finish. They got a guy from Malawi now, Mbuya um, or something like that. Yes, sir. I was watching Kenya. <laughs> he was missing for fun, <laughs> and then the commentators said, "This young, uh, this young man uh, is not having the best of uh, debuts." I'm not sure whether he was just debut. I went and checked. That guy is 29 years old. Man, the commentators said, "This young man, he was really, really a, 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 a poor man." So, I, I don't think they will hurt us in, in attack. Their best chance man, will come transition mm -hmm. because I think up top they have pace. I, knife I was versus out Goga, a uh, uh, Bans, a uh, uh, figure, Figueredo, and then Zunguana centrally, you know, and hope they, they, they can conjure something up uh, using a uh, pace here, yeah, because I think that's where their pace uh, will come from. You said uh, Bans is not uh, having the best of seasons. I slightly disagree with you. Ne? I think he's been their best player this season. 
is he playing better than last season? I I do not think so. Yeah. I, well, but I think he's been uh, uh, their best player this season. So I think that now needs to uh, play on their, their their weaknesses, man. Put them under pressure, man. Uh, 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 suffocate them. Press them really high and up so that as soon as they make the mistakes, we capitalize. You know. So yeah, you right up. I will start Williams. My back four uh, Dunyela, uh, Kekana, Obas. I kick on Mvala and Lungu. Then in front of them I have Ubas, Mkuli, Silimbule. Then my front three will be Zwan, Shalulule and Serim. Okay. Uh, I would have uh, Williams. Uh, I, the reason I'm not going to rest Williams with games is I really want him to break the, yeah. the, the clean sheet uh, record. And so I'll have Williams, I'll, I'll bring back Zuko, I'll have Dunyela, I'll have Ubas, I'll have Mvala, I'll have uh, Lungu. In my middle field will be Mkuli, Semabu and Bule. I would bring back Shika, eh, 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 Shika. I would play him Le Shalulule Ribeiro as my front three. I know a lot of people will say I'm risking it, you know, for injury and stuff like that. And fair, fair enough, man. But I think Zwani last played last week, man. Going mm -hmm. into game, yeah, 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 younger. I the front three, I won't play them for over sixty minutes or even for more more than forty five minutes. Maybe give them that first half, you know, because I think. A Ribeiro needs game match fitness, man. The very, uh, a very selfish player, by the way. I need to learn Portuguese. Uh, <laughs> and in the next preview, just tell him to stop being selfish when he gets into positions where he can pass the teammates. And then Charlie, uh, the reason I'll play Charlie is I think Charlie needs a it's goal a and a, yeah, it will help his confidence. So, yeah, I'll, that's why I'm starting that front three. But at the same time, I won't give them more than 60 minutes or even 40 minutes and I'll bring in maybe people like Charlie Esquavel and other not Charlie yeah, Serino yeah. Esquavel and others. Ne? Score prediction? I think we'll win 3-0. I'll add one more goal. I think we'll uh, win 4 nil and go into the second leg. Yeah, that's it, Masanda Wana. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and continue to help us grow this uh, uh, channel here on. Next time you will see us will be on Wednesday as we bring you the preview of our biggest match of the season as we host Young in the Kev Champions League quarter final second leg at Loftus Cup Friday. Until then, shop shop Masandawana, shop 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 Masandawana, shop shop Isaac.